Hey, it's Shadow. In this video, we are venturing into the Space Warp Gate in Planet Crafter. Its coordinates are 1570, 83, negative 600. In game, it's in the top right of the map. Here's the layout of the ship. I marked the fusion reactor and a monitor that has a message. This ship is very large and I recommend taking at least two oxygen tanks. Also, it'll take multiple trips to collect all the resources. Keep in mind this ship does flood later on in game. So here are the flooded rooms marked on the map. Once inside, there'll be one blue chest on your left. You'll enter the main room and there'll be one blue chest in the front left corner. From the main room, you enter chamber 1, where there's one blue chest. In a small room to the right, and hidden behind some beams, is a blue chest. There are no blue chests in chamber 2, but in the cabinets in the attached room is a blueprint chip. There's only one blue chest in chamber 3, but there is a heater you can deconstruct for resources. From chamber 3, you'll enter a large room that's in the back of the ship. There's a blueprint chip and a message. Today was the inauguration of the Space Warp Gate. It took two years to build it, and finally we would be able to easily cross the Ezidil Prime Sector. But, just after we turned on the main power reactor, everything went wrong. The power immediately went down, all the reactors and stabilizers broke and within a few minutes, and the spaceship was inexplicably drawn to the closest planet. We tried everything to fix it, but it seems there is nothing we can do. All the crew has escaped in the escape pods, I sent a distress signal. I'm going to my pod now too. What a waste, all these months of work are going to be lost. I can't understand what happened, this shouldn't have happened. Year 3034 There's also a blue chest and a fusion reactor. When empowered, it will open the door in Chamber 5. With Charlene in Chamber 3 and turning right, you'll enter Chamber 4. There aren't any chests in this room. If you keep going straight, you'll enter a hall that leads to a tunnel. There's one blue chest at the end of this tunnel. Going back to chamber 4, you'll then go into chamber 5. The door to your right will open when the reactor is powered. There's one blue chest. Chamber 6 is empty, but connects to chamber 1. When you do place a fusion energy cell in a reactor, the door in chamber 5 will open. As I mentioned, this area of the ship will be flooded, but it does not affect the gameplay. It will be a large room with two blue chests and one storage locker. I don't have any video of this, but trust me, it will be there. Here's the map again, with the loot marked. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead and give it a like. If you'd like more walkthroughs, let me know which ship I should do next in the comments. And subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. This has been Shadow, and happy terraforming!